here at Pepcom is the world's first mini workstation. Uh, this is what we call our HP Z2 Mini G3 workstation. It's about 90% smaller than your traditional uh, workstation tower, but it packs all the same level of performance. You can see we've, we've totally redesigned the system, so this is a high-end industrial design, but we haven't sacrificed anything in terms of configurability or accessibility or versatility. In fact, this is probably our most versatile workstation that we've ever produced. I'll show you the inside just so you can see, any, just like any HP workstation, we want to make it totally serviceable. So just by using this, this tab on the back of the system, you can just take the, take the top latch off and then you have full access to the SSD or the system memory here underneath. You also, you'll see an M.2 slot here, and that's for your wireless LAN and Bluetooth. But there's also a second M.2 slot underneath the SSD for a PCI Express based SSD, so up to an 80 millimeter device. Uh, part of the design, although it's designed to be a very beautiful device, uh, this is a lot of horsepower in such a small device. So you'll, you'll see the venting around the perimeter, that's all fun very functional venting. And we've actually got uh, innovations in the fan design to be able to draw the air in and cool all the components and expel the air while keeping the system as quiet as possible. In fact, it's about half as quiet as a traditional workstation. Even when uh, you're running a, a workload that would support, like, say, 4K, four 4K displays or up to six HD displays. So really, really capable system in a very small form factor. If you, uh, what you'll notice is that the power supply is actually not internal, so it's an external power supply, much like a mobile workstation would be. Um, and then you also have the ability to mount this device either under a desk or behind a display like you see here. So you have a Z2 mounted behind a display. Just via, via standard Visa mount. So there's two options available for the Z2 Mini. There's an entry option, which is based on Intel integrated graphics. And then there's this version, which has NVIDIA Quadro graphics. The Intel integrated graphics version is available today. And then the NVIDIA Quadro version, which is the version that supports up to four 4K displays plus two additional via daisy chaining, is available next week. So I'll show you the ports on the the high-end version, the performance version. In front of the system you have this power button and then on the side of the system you have two type A ports and then your headphone jack. And then on the rear of the system you have a RJ45. You have multiple USB type A ports and two type C ports. What you also see is a legacy serial port. Now this is an option for those legacy users who need to connect to those devices that need the serial input. And then you see we have those four uh, full-size display ports as well, and then your power adapter. I mentioned the versatility. Uh, we also considered security with this. So you have your Kensington lock, and then we also have a security sleeve that would lock around the whole device that would prevent users from actually accessing those ports if you didn't want them taking data off the system. The entry version of the Z2 Mini starts at $699 US and that's available today. And then the performance version uh, will launch next week at a higher price than that.